Hello? I'm on my way. The Rural Initiative is uh, one that speaks to the fact that, that we want to provide that access and quality care uh, to as many people as we can, and there are many million Americans out there that, that need that. I'm from Boston, and why would someone from Boston who trained in all the tertiary care centers, one minute is a chief fellow in uh, the Leahy Clinic, and the next day he's in rural America. Basically, it's because I wanted to be busy and make a difference and because my wife was uh, raised 27 miles from here. You finish your training, it's, it truly is just the beginning. The biggest attraction that we've had here is having physicians be more than willing to assist and, and help younger physicians gain experience in procedures that they really may or may not have ever done. From a learning standpoint, from learning how to do things and, and, and being self-sufficient, what, what an opportunity. I had to use everything I'd ever learned about surgery and medicine. And it was exhausting and scary and absolutely exhilarating. What is rural in Maine is not rural Kansas, it's not rural um, North Carolina, um, it's uh, not like Alaska, uh, it's not like western Texas, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's different in, in all of those places. Rural is a place of 50,000 people or less. Between 15,000 and 50,000 is what we call large rural. The main town in the area that you're working in could be 50,000, but you might have 100,000 people that all come in. So you might be serving a pretty big population. Between 2,500 and 15,000 is small, and below 2,500 is either frontier or pioneer. A general surgeon used to be very broadly based and really was seen as, as what we think of as a rural surgeon today. Routine abdominal surgery, gallbladder disease, or colon cancer, blockages, bowel obstructions, hernias, and things like that, and vascular surgery. Also do a little bit of orthopedics or a little bit of plastic surgery. They'll take care of carpal tunnels. They do C-sections. The rural surgeon is the primary endoscopist for rural America. Uh, and that's a big part of what they do, and that is screening for colon cancer, that is looking for ulcers or people who have reflux disease, and managing those things as well. As a rural surgeon in a small place, I get to choose what I do. We have full nuclear medicine, we have a CT scanner, we have an MRI scanner, ER, ICU, three ORs, full GI lab, so I can tackle something if I feel we can do it. And if something seems beyond our capabilities or beyond the patient's best interests, I can tell them that too. And it's okay to do both. I know it's different than in the urban existence because I've been both places. And while it was great to be there at the right place at the right time, there were 600 other surgeons in Dallas who, if I had been on vacation, they'd have been there. But not in the rural environment. When there's only one other obstetrician gynecologist in the whole county or in a several county area, um, you're not perceived as a threat. You're welcomed um, and by everyone in the community insurance people, by the bank people, by the people at the grocery store, by the people at the library, by the people at the Chamber of Commerce. There are lots of people that welcome you into the community and they're glad you're there. There's a, a wholesomeness that still exists in a lot of places in America that many Americans would say doesn't exist anymore. I would welcome anyone, anyone, to come and spend a day with me, watch me operate, make rounds, see surgeries, see patients in the office, then I think they'd have an eye-opening experience. What's most important to me is the relationships that I have developed with my patients. After 30 years of seeing the grandkids and the 
the parents and the grandparents who we've operated on. It's very, very gratifying. My patients really love me, don't they? And I love them too. It's a, they make me feel good and I make them feel good. Yeah. You know, I make their life better and they make my life better. It'll be, it'll be hard. Uh, it'll be very personal. But no real surgeon would want to miss this experience. So if, if you wanted to pick out something that would make you feel good and tell you that you've done something right in your life, is to walk into a room and have somebody say to you, I chose you because you took care of this family member and we were happy. Not about plaques, not about money, it's not about anything. It's that you help somebody and they recognize it.